Good morning uh, everyone. It's a Tuesday morning here. Cyrus Sticky logging in. Just doing my catch up on the health and fitness journey. So it's just gone five o'clock in the morning. It's like one minute past five. The car park is reasonably full here at Go Health Nunda. Uh, so there was just two spots left. I got this one and actually there's still another one spare. So if you want to get to the gym, there's still room for you. Anyway, uh, just logging in. It's been uh, an interesting week. Um, my weight's gone up just a tad. Um, I've done my last two weigh-ins at 84.5, where I was getting down to um, 83.6, um, 83.7, I think. So, why has it gone up? Well, I have not been as good as I would have liked with my food. My brother's over from NZ. So, uh, actually I caught up with them yesterday, or with him and my other brother who also lives here in Australia now, um, had a really good barbecue, healthy salads, so I brought over a steak, but um, put in some white bread, um, ended up having uh, his wife's lovely peanut brownie and some ice cream. So I'm going to be extra committed as of today. Still been keeping to the fast, but just my foods have not been as great as I'd like it. Woke up this morning actually feeling a little bit off. Um, I think when you're really good with your diet and then you throw in something that's not quite clean, it actually reminded me of like seven, eight years ago when my diet was all, always, I didn't even think about my diet, so I just ate crap. And uh, often there was a regular occurrence that I'd wake up and I felt like how I felt this morning, which was not nice. It was only really mild, so I'm sure it'll be gone shortly. But it just goes to show that very quickly, if you put crap in, it reacts in your body. Not saying that the meals were crap or anything like that. They were actually really good. But just the fact that I don't eat white bread normally and I ate a bun and a half. Uh, I think that's why I felt a bit funny and maybe the ice cream but I don't regret it the food was really good just get back stay committed to your goals sold my car yesterday I'd been trying to advertise that for like three four months so that was a bit of a pain um, process I thought it was supposed to be easy but anyway sold it to a lovely couple who are really going to enjoy it and uh, wish them the best of luck and uh, I've upgraded since then so i've got a c63 amg mercedes and it's something i've always wanted and i thought i'd mention that not to brag but just to show that that was my dream car i've always wanted one of them for years it used to be the bmw 320i uh, it was on my goal list i uh, would go into bmw i'd get the magazine i'd cut it out i'd stick it on my wall and I would just think about that every day to motivate me to work harder. Um, anyway, that was what I did. I finally got to the point where I could buy that car. And uh, I didn't like it. So it was a bit depressing. You know, I'd worked all that time wanting this thing. And then I went to experience it and I didn't like it. So I ended up test driving a BMW M3. And I friggin' loved it awesome car and I ended up buying that so then I noticed once I'd done that my hunger dropped down I wasn't as enthusiastic to work as hard so what I've been doing over the last couple of years is trying to find something that I'm passionate about to inspire me to motivate me to make me want to work hard and that was where the C63 AMG came in and I got it so I'm really happy um, so now I've got to find something else to fill that goal in terms of that. Now, the other thing is what I'm passionate about is health and fitness. So I'm working on this journey and I love it because it's easy to do. It's challenging because you just want to live a good life sometimes and treat yourself. But it keeps me in check. It makes me do the right things according to my goals that I want, which is a nice health healthy lifestyle so I can live great awesome days every day that I'm here on the planet that's my goal that's my real passion as well as my business growing my business creating a passive income business so in the next five to ten years 
I can choose not to work if I don't want to. I've already got it pretty good because I tend to have a Friday off at the moment, hang out with the bubby, we go to swimming classes. So uh, slowly I'll just filter down those days, I'll get people to do the work, so hopefully I can just not have to work as hard. Anyway, that's another story. Here I am, it's a few minutes past five, I'm at the gym. I did make some choices yesterday that weren't overly great, but what can I do? I can't worry about that. I can just focus on now and doing the right things to achieve the best result today. So what are you going to do today that you should do that perhaps you didn't do yesterday? Let's get committed. Let's get into it. Let's have an awesome week. It's still only Tuesday. So we've got a whole week ahead where we can make awesome choices to create this week the best week ever. Today is the best day ever. Have a great day. Let's check in soon. I'm off to the gym.